Hey everyone, Adam here going overland. We are about to hit the road for nine days. We're going up to Bundy. So we're gonna, we got the lithium freshly mounted. Uh, we're leaving tomorrow. So we're gonna do a week long test. Basically all our stuff was run off this battery for the weekend. And coming home today, just with the solar panel, it's now on 99%. Can you believe that? Exciting news, uh, we're getting uh, lithium iron. Now, just to run it, you need a couple little things just to protect that investment because they're not cheap. So we've gone Victron, we've got an MPPT uh, solar regulator, and we've got the IP22 Victron 12 slash 30 amp charger. Now this charger will charge three different batteries at the same time. Um, so we'll get it open and have a look at it. We'll get the regulator fitted and then I'll show you the battery in a minute. So here's our battery. It's a uh, iTech Weld 120 amp hour lithium battery. Uh, probably about 12 kilos, uh, like they state. Um, yeah, can't wait to get this thing in. So it's gonna triple our battery capacity, probably a third of the weight. All right, so this is the system we're upgrading. It's in our camper trailer. Um, now this battery, what brand is it? Battery stock. It's got to be the worst AGM battery ever. It's only a year old. Um, the only time we've run a fridge off it was on Fraser for three nights, just to give the battery in the car a rest. And after every morning, it would be dead flat. The fridge wasn't even on. So let's get this little um, cheap, voltage regulator out and um, fit the new one. This is the last time I'll be pulling this thing out. It's heavy. How good is that? Do it one hand if you had to. <laughs> hey everyone, Adam here going overland. Um, there's going to be two segments to this video about the lithium battery setup. One is a nine week test up to Bundy and one is a weekend test which we've just completed. Uh, the weekend test we've got a new uh, battery monitor which shows you how much percentage is out of the battery. Um, so it gives you a bit more of an idea. So the second test is very accurate because of what I can see now. Uh, when I say, you know, is it pretty much full or whatever. So it's pretty much spot on with the voltage. Um, so yeah, so the second, this second test, this weekend we just completed, let me explain what we've done. I plugged the, um, the fridge into the trailer battery, the lithium battery, and it was warm, hadn't cooled down. Uh, it's run for two nights, two days, and only been fed off the solar up on top, the 160 watt solar panel no charge from the alternator the whole time even when we're driving and today it's been overcast raining um, a little bit cooler temperature wise uh, yesterday was about 27 degrees 28 today's probably been about 24. Uh, the fridge is a 65 liter waco dual zone it was set for negative 14 the whole time uh, three quarters full and when we loaded up we put uh, a full bag of icy poles which were about half frozen uh, there's still some soft ones in there, very soft. 
So the fridge had been working. Now when we left, the battery was on 93% and um, we had run, uh, charge up the drill batteries, uh, just topped them up, they were, they were probably about 93% themselves. And I run the inverter inside and use the soldering iron for about maybe five minutes. Um, so it's done all that. I only charge off the um, solar panel. Uh, it's run the shower pump as well, the water pump, the lights inside all overnight. Um, basically all our stuff was run off this battery for the weekend. And coming home today, just with the solar panel, it's now on 99%. Can you believe that? It's been so efficient. And that's a cheap, super cheap panel, not an expensive one. Uh, it's got the Victron 75, um, what is it, 75 115 uh, MPPT solar regulator. So, with all that, full use, 99%, no charge from the alternator. How good is that? So just to give you a bit of a look at the, um, the battery monitor, it's off, which is cool. A lot of uh, voltmeters and stuff. The, don't have an off switch so it's all right if you run it for your car for the accessories but when you're on your trailer what do you do so 13.3 volts 99 percent unbelievable we are about to hit the road for nine days we're going up to bundy so we're gonna we got the lithium freshly mounted uh, we're leaving tomorrow so we're gonna do a week-long test it'll be running all the lights It'll charge all our battery gear, like the laptop, the phones, the drone, uh, torches, anything like that. It'll charge off this battery. It'll run the pump for the kitchen and also the pump for the shower. And when the deep cycle in the troll gets low, it'll also be running the fridge. Uh, this only gets charged off the 160 watt panel in the top. It does not get charged through the alternator while we're driving. That's purely to charge up the deep cycle in the car, run the fridge and all the stuff we got in the car. Um, so yeah, we're going to test it out. We've got five days sitting still. Hopefully there's enough charge in the battery. We've fully charged it up before we left. Um, then we've got five, four days on the road, so we'll probably get a lot of sun on the road while you're driving. That's why we've got the flat panel. And um, yeah, we'll really test the system out and see how it goes and we'll, um, we'll keep you updated every day and see see what's happening all right so today's day two of the trip um, we haven't hooked up solar to it yet uh, it's a 120 hour iTech world battery uh, under a thousand dollars it's on 13.3 volts so it's pretty much still full, fully charged so today is day three of the trip all right we had no no solar, and even if the solar was plugged in, it wouldn't have any uh, much chance to charge up because we don't have all these trees. And the lithium battery is still on 13.3 volts. All right, so today, today's day four uh, of the uh, battery test, uh, the lithium. It's going great. As you can see, we are under a lot of shade from the trees, and today is really overcast, so I have plugged the fridge into the lithium battery and, <laughs> and I plugged the solar in just to help out a little bit. It's getting a little bit of solar, but probably not a lot. Um, it is forecast to be like this for the next couple of days and we still have five days left of this trip. So I don't want to kill the battery being brand new, but I do, do want to test it out. So it's been running a couple of hours now off the, uh, the fridges, off the lithium battery. Uh, plus charging up everything, I was running all the pumps last night again, all the lights. It is on 13.3 volts. With that little bit of solar, 13.3 volts. So it's doing a fantastic job, the lithium battery. If we still had the old battery, uh, I don't know what we would be doing right now. We would have a flat battery. The fridge would still be plugged in the car. That one would be struggling too. So <laughs> we're doing a great job. Okay, today is day six of the trip. Uh, once again, it's morning, sun comes up over the coast. Trees, cloud, uh, no solar. Uh, it was raining last night, so I plugged the fridge back into the car. So it wasn't drawing overnight off the lithium battery. But with the little voltage uh, solar we got yesterday, it's still on 13.3 volts. 
So we haven't moved in six days. Uh, haven't had a lot of solar, charging everything, um, and uh, probably wondering what sort of solar we got. It's 160 watt solar on the roof, just with the um, a Victron um, solar regulator. That's specific for lithium batteries. Okay, today's day seven. Yesterday we had lots of sunshine when we were driving. Uh, it was charging at 14 volts. And I think it's fully charged. It's sitting on again on 13.3 volts. And um, yeah, it was it was getting heaps of solar last yesterday. So yeah, I mean it lasted a whole week in the shade there, running the fridge for a couple of days, and um, saved our bacon. So yeah, um, it's probably going to open up a few doors of what we can do now electronically. We can probably run the fridge a lot more off the trailer. Now I know it'll charge very well just off the 160 watt panel. And we can leave, we can be parked up somewhere for a week and not worry. So yeah, loving it. Okay, so the last two days of the trip is done. Um, we went away with some other people and we ran the fridge off the lithium battery for about 20 hours. Overnight, um, it was running, one night it was off the car, the second night it was off the trailer, only because it was raining. So I'll have to rig out a, a line to run from directly from the camper to the car, because you shouldn't have lithium under the bonnet. It's too hot, especially in a patrol. So yeah, it had two hours of charge the whole t two days, only when we were driving there and home. The rest I just disconnected, because I didn't want to overcharge it, and I wanted to see you know, what, how it's, you know, how it's running. Um, charge it up and the app shows us how many ants went into it so 20 hours of uh, the fridge but on top of that all the pumps the shower pump water pump all the lights charging more drone batteries it put only 12 amps into it and it took maybe an hour so if I had it the solar plugged in the whole time it'd probably be fully charged so really happy with that all right so that's the end of another video hope you like it hope you um, subscribe and follow we've got some big things coming next year hope it's also giving you some insight of the capabilities of the lithium especially on that big trip being camped under those trees for you know five days six days i think it was um didn't have a lot of solar coming through but the battery was still fully charged it worked really well is it worth it yeah, if you're going away for weekends every now and again, it's probably not worth it. Probably sent 1500 bucks all up for the battery, the voltage regulator, the solar regulator, the 240 volt mains charger and the monitor, the battery monitor, the little one. And um, yeah, really happy with how it's running. So for us, definitely worth it, especially with what we got planned next year. We've got some big things happening next year. Uh, finished up some wiring so we can unplug the fridge off the car battery plug it into this uh, Anderson port over here comes out here and when the trailer's hooked up or with an extension lead the trailer's off a little way we can run the fridge off the lithium battery still being able to lock the doors up oh can you hear that car alarm going off anyway hope you like the video subscribe and um, we'll see you soon